so important that you had to awaken me from my precious sleep. Hmm? Hmm. Now that is a good reason. Last night was wonderful. You were so gentle. How about you? Did you like it? <laughs> Good. Mm. Wait, where are you going? Ooh, breakfast. Now that sounds wonderful. Oh, in that case, go ahead. Actually, I think breakfast in bed sounds much better. And romantic, too. Um, is that all right? <laughs> Yay. <clears throat> I then hereby give you permission to leave, and do not return till you have my prize. <laughs> yourself, Aglaia. You can do this. You've done this literally a thousand times. Okay, okay. Let's rehearse. Sweetheart, I'm carrying your baby. And I'm a goddess. That means you're the father to a future hero. <laughs> No. The last time I was that blunt with one of my lovelies, he ran off, and I had to leave the child elsewhere for care. To think that people would be so intimidated by me. I'm the goddess of love, for Metis' sake. I don't feel hate for anything. Well, except for Krayos, and the Amazons, and the Titans, and the Eldritch. Focus! Aglaia, focus! Just be tactful, gentle, but honest. He deserves that much. Oh, here he comes. Ah, you have returned. Let me see, let me see. Mmm, now that looks like a feast fit for the gods. Let us eat. Mm. That was wonderful, darling. The gods have clearly blessed you with a gift for food. Among other things. <laughs> mm. 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 Wait, wait. This is clearly leading to something very heated. And... As much as I would love to continue. You and I need to talk. No, nothing is wrong. Well, depends on how you look at it. Sweetheart, you know I love you, right? Do you love me? Good. I needed to hear that. Do you remember the day we met? It was during a very hot summer. The market was bustling with life. It was almost crowded. I was taking a stroll, and I believe you were browsing for some goat meat. And all of a sudden, a wagon started speeding down a hill, out of control, and heading straight for my direction. And you, quite heroically, I might add, grabbed me by the arm and pulled me away in just the nick of time. Then we'd spent the entire day walking together, getting to know one another. And the entire night, we did other things. <laughs> How long has it been now? That already feels like forever. By the gods. 
I love you so much. But like I said earlier, there is something we need to discuss. My love, I am with child. Sweetheart? Did you hear me? My love. <laughs> I take it that you're happy. <laughs> my love, my love, my love. I'm happy that you're happy. But there's more. And it's bigger than you could ever imagine. Yes, bigger than a baby. Take my hand. It's all right. Please, take my hand. Now, close your eyes. Now, open. This, this is my home. My love, my name is not what I told you on the day we met. I am... I am Aglaia, the goddess of love. Careful. Please, sit down. I know this is a lot to take in. Here, drink this. Are you all right? I know that this is a lot. Please, breathe slowly. I know that I should have told you long ago, but you must understand. I didn't want you to think differently of me, like the rest. When you first saw me, I was nothing more than some townswoman that you met, as if it was fate. But it wasn't, my love. It wasn't. I first saw you two months prior to our official meeting. I was feeling very lonely. I wanted companionship. I needed it. Romance in every shape and form is what I am. However, there are those that call me goddess of whores. All because of my need of having someone by my side. <sighs> the warrior women of the Amazonian Empire call me as such. They have never forgiven me for causing the death of their first empress. <clears throat> well, good. Because I haven't forgiven her for the murder of my son. As I am sure you know the tale already. They can never understand... I don't bring men and women into my bed because I am feeling frisky. No. I bet them because I love them. <sighs> like I love you. And it was love I felt when I first saw you. Tending to your farm and feeding your cattle. My hands were pressed against my chest to stop my heart from bursting. I'd watch you work from a distance every day and sat by your bedside to watch you sleep every night. Eventually, simply watching just wasn't enough anymore. I had to have you. So, I arranged our meeting. Everything that happened that day was... By my design. Oh no, don't get the wrong idea, my love. Though the first day together was rather 
staged. The rest was all us. I promise you, it was real. Darling, look at me. I love you. Do you love me? Still? home. Our child will blow us all away. And I, I will never let any harm come to you. My chambers are nearby. Do you want to continue there? So, <laughs> well, come on, let's go. <laughs> 